Okay, so this is going to be uh, my review of uh, Juck vs. the Pilot. I believe that's what it's called. Um, I'll have, if, if it's not correct, the title, the title will tell you what the actual title of the first episode of Chuck is. Anyways, so pretty much just to sum things up, uh, there's a guy that's named Chuck Protowski and he works for a, uh, electronic type store, like kind of like Best Buy in a way, or you used, or, or something like that. And so, but it's called, uh, Buy More instead of Best Buy. You can see how they kind of copy the name in a way. And uh, he has a buddy, Morgan, and a sister who he lives with, uh, Ellie, and uh, her boyfriend, uh, David Wickholm. But you don't know uh, his full name uh, in this first episode. You just know him as Captain Awesome, which you... His, that nickname kind of sticks for the most part of the series. I mean, there are some parts where he's not so awesome, if you know what I mean. But, um, but yeah, it's, nickname's pretty good. Um, so pretty much, uh, we start off with, uh, Chuck Bartowski, uh, and Morgan. They're in his room. And they're making, with all the camera work, it makes it look like they're getting ready for a spy mission. Which, in actual fact, they're just trying to escape a, par a birthday party, I think, for him. And so, uh, and Ellie, her, her, his sister, uh, brought all these women to, uh, and people to um, try to get him over his ex, Jill, who... You find out who she is, what she looks like, all that stuff in season two. Um, she plays a big part uh, throughout the series. Um, maybe I wouldn't. I was. I don't know. I wouldn't say a huge part, but a big part. Like, anyways. Um, and so pretty much uh, after the party's over. Uh, after he strikes out with three ladies, uh, he goes to his com he's playing video games. Uh, his uh, friend Morgan's on the computer. Uh, he tells him that he got an email. He goes over, sends Morgan home because it's really late. So then uh, he checks uh, uh, Chuck checks his email. He uh, there is this old text type game called Zork or something like that. Uh, he figures out the uh, riddle or whatever to pass the monster in the text game and uh, these images and videos appear and that that is called the intersect and the intersect goes into his brain and so now whenever uh, he hears something or sees something that's part of the intersect uh, intersect he'll flash meaning uh, a whole bunch of information will come to his head and he'll remember stuff that he shouldn't know off the top of his head or no period because it's uh, CIA and NSA information that it's not supposed to be known for, for the public so anyways he goes to work and uh, Von Strahovski uh, uh, aka Sarah Walker, uh, that's her character's name, Sarah Walker. Uh, she is, um, she comes in, I believe she works, I forget which, um, one she works for, but anyways, she comes in, she plays a damsel in distress with a broken, uh, broken phone, and he fixed it, um, then, uh, he has to help out, uh, this girl, uh, because or his his girl's uh, father uh, supposedly video recorded this uh, ballerina thing and it didn't end up recording because he didn't have digital tape 
because he didn't realize he needed digital tape. And you keep this in mind, this came out back in, I want to say around 2007. So back then they didn't really, most people that are parent-wise didn't really know that type of stuff, I think. Anyways, uh, that happens and um, after she disappears, but he, she leaves a um, um, what's it called business card or something like that, and her, which has her information stuff like that, and uh, Harry Tang, who you may recognize from uh, Dexter, and maybe uh, Bosch. Uh, I believe his name is C.S. Lee. I believe that's what his name is, his actual name. He is like the straight man in the Buy More uh, part of the uh, TV show. And uh, both Chuck and uh, Harry Tang are um, trying to go for the same job uh, as assistant store manager. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, now, they, uh, after a while, uh, Sarah comes back, and she's like, I think that there's something wrong with my phone. And then he says, why? And then it's because uh, you never called me. And then they end up going on a date. On the date, uh, they have a great time up until a point where uh, they go to a, a concert, I guess you could call it. But it's not like a big, huge place like Air Canada Center or something like that. Or it's not Air Canada. Uh, Rogers Center or whatever. It's like a smaller place, more in-depth type place. Anyways, um, and these uh, agents that are uh, associated with uh, John Casey, who's, uh, who is, uh, his real name is Adam Baldwin. Uh, he, they send him, uh, they try to get him, uh, Chuck and, uh, things don't work out because while they're dancing, uh, Sarah Walker is able to take them out without Chuck Bartowski even noticing. And then they run out after they, after she defeats them and get in the car and then, uh, Adam Baldwin, or sorry. John Casey is going after them. They end up um, uh, getting into a car accident, uh, which stops them. They get out of the car. Uh, something happens, and then they end up on the top of a building. I'm I'm kind of summarizing it, or trying to at least. And then uh, they find out that uh, he has all their information in the head. And that there's a bomb that's going to blow up a certain hotel. They go. They uh, use this uh, virus called the the Demova, which you find out at the beginning of the episode. They finish. They have a little spiel. Oh, oh you're coming with me. Oh, you're coming with me. And, and Chuck is like, well, you two guys need me, not the other way around. And then he leaves. And then cut to, they're at, uh, he's at the beach, uh, Sarah Walker finds him, they talk, and uh, just letting him know that you can trust her type of a situation. And what's funny is, is that in the very last episode, uh, they actually um, uh, go back to that, pl that place. And also in the last episode, they used the Demova virus to defeat a bomb also. So I thought that was kind of cool also. Um, there's one other thing that I just forgot what it was. But that was, oh, uh, Bryce Larkin, uh, the person that sent him, who is Matt Bomber, um, who ends up... Uh, you end up uh, finding or seeing him later uh, in the season. There's this uh, thing that says Cabo 2005. Uh, that 
uh, the capo is like a they use as a code later on in uh, I think episode thirteen. Uh, so, anyways, as a whole, great episode. Uh, I love it. I hopefully this is a little bit more in depth than the first one that I did b uh, back in like six years ago. Um, I'm gonna try to do this type of stuff at least a couple times a week somewhere between Tuesday and Thursday unless something changed in my work schedule so hopefully this is somewhat informative hopefully you have somewhat enjoyed it um, please go check it out uh, the show is called Chuck um, I will try to leave links to the Amazon uh, .ca .com, iTunes .ca .com and in the description down below so you can go buy it check it out um i don't know what um type of uh thing it's on whether it's on like a netflix or hulu or crave tv or whatever so anyways see you all next time uh, i'll be doing a vlog tonight by the way anyways bye if you don't watch this video you can fuck you or fuck you or fuck me <laughs>